Here's the uh, new Fender. I've always been a huge fan of Mad Max and I've been hard at work building myself a Wasteland Cadillac. So this is what I've done so far. I've put springs on the rear from a Super Duty pickup truck. I've got ATV off-road tires, 32 mud terrains in the back, 28s in the front, fenders made out of a mud terrain. I drew out a jagged edge on the fender, cut it out, drilled holes in it, and mounted the tire to that. When I was buying the hardware for this thing, um, I told the guy I want the cheapest hardware you have because I, I want it to rust. And he looked at me extremely confused and I explained to him what I was doing and he was like, oh, yeah, rust would work perfect. So hopefully these will rust uh, and that will complete the look there. All right, so I went with a Versa Trail for the rear. It looks like a little monster truck tire. Kind of fits. Some exhaust off a motorcycle. They're gonna run along the door out from underneath on both sides. Another part of this project that I'm super excited about is the flamethrower guitar. I think there's a fire extinguisher in the Z right next to you if we need it. Oh jeez. You gonna do it in the yard maybe? Oh. Oh. We'll be alright. <laughs> I don't know how big of a flame it is. Maybe. I'm just a little bit clumsy. That's that's good to have an open fire, right? So I think you. Okay. I think it's gonna be a big flame. Yeah. I think you should <laughs> just, do that here. Just based on the sound. I think it's you not. Should, uh, just stare down the barrel of it, really. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just see if it's loaded. Yeah, you should definitely not do it in a covered area. Yeah, let's go. Let's just go out in the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, less gas, maybe? Oh, oh man. There it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, how do you do it? There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so I made a slight modification because the flame was too hot, so you couldn't really see it on camera. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it works. So you do a little uh, cord and then... <laughs> Nothing crazy here. You can easily find one of these babies at any Duke Park, Duke Center, or Duke Bash in the wasteland. That works pretty good. <laughs> My mom had actually bought me that guitar when I was in high school so that I'd learn how to play. I learned like one song and then it's it's been sitting in the house for years. I told her what I wanted to do with it um, and she's like, no, I don't want you to light the guitar on fire. And I, I had to explain to her, I'm like, no, the guitar is going to be lighting things on fire. It's not going to be on fire. What my goal is with this car is to build one of the harpoon cars that shot the uh, the war rig like they did in Fury Road. So what I've got left still, I got to do the harpoon on the roof, 
I have to build a sort of anchor piece that'll drop uh, and be able to be retracted. For the exhaust brackets, I actually repurposed some brackets from a face shield or face guard that Fab Fours had made as a sort of a sneeze guard. And uh, they worked perfect on the back of this car. It almost gives the car that, like those wings like the older Cadillacs had. So I was kind of going for that a little bit with the exhaust. Um, I, think, uh, I think it'll work for what we're trying to do. It's also gonna get a roof hatch so you can come out, use the harpoon. I'm going to, I still need to cut the door for the exhaust. I'm gonna cut it something like this and the exhaust is gonna run along here. I still have to build the crazy looking hood scoop like all the cars had in there in the movie. I'm thinking something like this. It's gonna be uh, it's three inch stainless. I did a little bit of an angle cut. I might go further on the angle, but that should look pretty awesome coming out of the hood. So that's where I'm at so far in this Cadillac. I'm gonna continue with this build and I'll see you next time.